Hey there, it is Chanel here from the Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for May 23rd through the 29th, 2022. A uh, little spiritual guidance to help you move through your week. Uh, this week I was drawn to a tarot deck. And so in the tarot deck, you're going to have major arcana cards and minor arcana cards. So those major arcana cards make up tw about 26 of the, the cards out of the 72. The rest of them are those minor arcana cards. Kind of like a suit of a uh, deck of cards. There's four suits and each suit has a different representation of something. Um... You'll notice when a major arcana card comes up that this is a major life change. So it's unusual to get one in a three card spread and even more unusual is to get two. So let's see what the cards have to say. We are using the Animal Tarot deck by the lovely Radley Valentine. He is adorable. Check him out. He does an energy forecast every single week. And we're going to draw three cards out of the deck to see what the energy is for this coming week. That's two. They were jumping. Feels like this third one's going to take its time a little bit. Oh, no. Top one. Okay. Three cards. Let's see what they have to say. So our first card is Princess of Water. Logical, truthful, curious, undiplomatic. It's the seagull. This is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the message. It's so funny because when you see this seagull card, you think of those chicken of the sea. Um, they are just those birds that drive us crazy. They steal our french fries on the beach. They ruin our picnic, that sort of stuff. Um, the idea here is to not let it bother you. That the things that are coming up this week, it feels like there's going to be some things that just are kind of like nails on the chalkboard. And we have to step into those moments of those experiences, those situations in a way where we can accept them for what they are. When we can come from a place in our heart, when we can come from a place of growth, then we can take those those experiences for what they are and step away from them rather than feeding it. So I always like to say, let's feed the solution to the problem instead of the problem. And that's what it really feels like this week is really focusing on the solution to the problem and not feeding the deeper problem. And this feels like a, I, I, what really comes up for me is this piece of people that kind of rub us the wrong way, that somebody may come up that just is that person that's like nails on a chalkboard to you. And it's about how you deal with them in a way that just moves you forward in a positive way that keeps you out of the drama and out of the negativity. Card number two. Our second card is Princess of Summer. Sensitive, kind, open-hearted, in... experienced. Oh yeah, it is two princesses. Um, Dear card, you can expect to kindle a new romantic relationship or close platonic or close for platonic friendship. You may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event. Um, so we have our seagull with our, our tiara on and now our deer with our tiara on. Um, this feels like things that are unexpected this week. And it doesn't necessarily mean relationships. It also feels like opportunities to me, but it feels like some unexpected things coming up. Things from left field that you didn't expect coming forward. Um, being able to look at opportunities in a way that isn't kind of like dead on, but more of an, uh, a zoom back and take a bigger look. Uh, take a look at the bigger picture here. There are some things that are coming to fruition for you that have been about dealing with all that stuff in the past. And again, it doesn't necessarily feel like things are working out exactly how you planned, but it is a step in the right direction and you are meant to acknowledge that this week. Things are unexpected. Um, again, there's this awareness too of just being open-hearted. A deer is a very sensitive animal. They're, they scare very easily. Um, same thing with a fish, actually. They typically, like, they don't just sit there and have a conversation with you or check you out. They tend to take off. They don't stick around. Um, so we're supposed to acknowledge that characteristic today. So 
be mindful that you're not just skidding off in the opposite direction before you actually take on the experience that is in front of you. Um, don't be skittish, they're saying this week. Okay, card number three. See, no major arcana cards this week. Maybe it'll be a smooth sailing kind of week. Three of summer, hummingbird. You have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as an engagement, wedding, graduation, or a birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. So anybody who knows me knows that hummingbirds are a sign or a symbol that my grandmothers are watching over me. It's something that's really special to me as my tree out front is in bloom. I've just been waiting and hopeful that I will see a hummingbird this year um, or two or three or four or five. Uh, I love them. This card though today really feels like it kind of everything kind of just flows in together and again there's this place of celebration but they're reminding us just to celebrate the beauty of life that it is okay to celebrate each and every day and even the tiniest of milestones sometimes we are so just caught up in everything that we forget that life is really amazing and it is really beautiful so yeah, it's okay to celebrate that you cooked that meal perfectly or that you showed up on time or you said no to somebody when you needed to say no and you honored yourself or you took a nap when you really needed it. It feels like this week is really about cherishing those things that really we cherish our loved ones, our soul family, our family, our friends that we cherish those relationships in our lives that mean the most to us and make sure that we acknowledge that. Say thank you. Say thank you to those people in your life that mean the world to you. Celebrate with them and maybe celebrating is just checking in on them and telling them how much you love them or saying thank you for something they did for you or maybe it's actually gathering to celebrate. It feels like this week has a very uneasy energy and this is meant to calm that energy. Those relationships, our connections are meant to help us get through this week. So it does feel like reaching out to support systems to just kind of chill that energy out. It's like I want to put blue light over top of everybody to just clean and clear and calm the nervous system because it just feels very skittish, very jumpy, very like uh, uh, on edge this week as we're waiting. We're not waiting for the other shoe to drop. Let it go. What we are waiting for is for things to line up and that can feel really uneasy. Divine timing seems to be taking a really long time right now. I'm curious to definitely watch the June Oracle card reading. So jump over to YouTube and check it out. I know once I'm done this, that is what I am doing to see what's up for the month of June. Um, cause I feel like I need that warning. I feel like I need that like information to be able to maneuver through the energies that I'm experiencing right now. It just feels like there's a lot of unknown and a lot of kind of holding on to trust and moving through the ethers in a way that is just honoring ourselves to get to the other side. <sighs> yeah. Um, if you need a little R&R &R this week, go check out the Quiet Yoga Library on Facebook. Um, I also, for Yoga Nidra, there's a whole bunch posted there. I posted one Friday night as well to Instagram if you want to check that one out. There's a handful on my YouTube as well. Um, it's a great way to kind of catch a little rest. It's a, a guided meditation. They take about 45 minutes and it's it just takes you into this place of deep peacefulness. Um, and there's different uh, themes out there so you can check it out through the, the descriptions to see what they're about, um, to see how they can help you. But it feels like I was supposed to share that this week. If you need a little gift of relaxation and connection, go check out a Yoga Nidra, again on my social media, YouTube, um, and in the, the Quiet Yoga Library. It's a group on Facebook you do have to request to join, but we'll let you in and you can check out those uh, Yoga Nidras. Um, hold on this week, friends, hold on. It's going to be a bumpy one, but you've got this. Just be calm, be patient and just trust the universe. It has a plan and it's all turning out exactly how it's supposed to. You just got to hold on for this week to get through. <sighs> 
thank you for being here and watching through. Thank you for being on my spiritual journey and allowing me to be your spiritual tour guide. Um, I would really appreciate it if you shared this uh, video with someone else. Uh, maybe tag someone in the comments or share it on your social media so that somebody else that needs to hear this today gets to hear it. Um, I appreciate you. From my heart and soul to yours, have an amazing week.